Hi everyone, welcome to Fun Foods. My name is Miss Lisa and we're here at the Fayette County Public Library. As you know, it is summertime and one of the big foods that we eat during the summer are our hot dogs. Well, as you know, here in Indiana, it has been raining a lot. And so who wants to go out and grill a hot dog when it's pouring down rain? So I have a unique recipe for you today. So instead of grilling a hot dog, why don't you cut them up into little mini bites and roll them in this cornmeal that I'm gonna show you today and make a mini corn dog feast for your family. So here's what you need to do. You need to have some hot dogs, of course, you're going to need to have your cornmeal and some flour and sugar, melted butter, some eggs, some milk, a little tiny pinch of salt, and of course you need something to cook your oil in. It needs to be at 350 degrees, which you can see mine is ready to go. So first of all, we're going to start with our dry ingredients. So you have one cup of your cornmeal, one cup of flour, one third cup of sugar. Okay, so those are our dry ingredients. We need just a teaspoon of your baking powder and just a little pinch of salt. Okay, so don't need a lot of salt, but well, if I can get into it. My goodness, there we go. We're just going to sprinkle a little on the spoon and that should be plenty. Okay, so we're gonna stir our dry ingredients together. Now, as you can see, this is gonna make a fairly large batter. So you can do a lot of hot dogs for your whole family. You need a fourth of a cup of melted butter. You need two eggs. Okay, so we're gonna put in one egg. And here's our second egg. Go ahead and start to stir that together. The other wet ingredient is milk. And so we need a cup and a fourth of milk. So let me go ahead and get the milk ready. So we're gonna do one whole cup of milk. And I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up a little bit because you don't want it too runny. So I'm gonna stir that up and if I feel like I need some more, I'll add a little bit more, but I'd rather it not be runny. So with a cup of flour, a cup of cornmeal and a cup of milk, that makes it pretty easy to remember what you're doing. I think that looks really good. I'll stir it up just a little bit more to get rid of the lumps. Now, one of the things that the recipe told me is that you wanna make sure your hot dogs are dry, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze all of the moisture off of that hot dog because you know when you take them out of a package they're a little wet so we're going to squeeze those hot dogs nice and dry and you're going to want to have a sharp knife you're also going to need some toothpicks okay because we're going to poke our little corn dog and put it in the in the oil okay so the drier they are the more the cornmeal mixture will stick to the hot dog. All right, let's go ahead and get this stirred up the rest of the way. And as you can see, it makes a large batter. So I'm just gonna do a few of them for you today. And I'll probably make a few more later because I know there are people here ready to try it. So to make a mini corn dog, you're gonna cut your hot dogs into thirds. And then you are going to stick each hot dog your little bites here with a toothpick. Okay, so here's my toothpicks. And we're going to stick those toothpicks, try to get them right in the center. And then we're gonna coat them and then fry them. And they are super delicious. Very easy little appetizer to make for your family or something to change up your dinner plans instead of a regular hot dog, you can make these little mini corn dogs. All right, so you got something to hold on to. Okay, and you're gonna wanna coat your little corn dog well. Okay, and put it in the oil. Make sure it's at 350 degrees. Don't go higher than that, because you'll burn it, and then it's not any good at all. All right. Go ahead and put them in. You'll have to rotate them. Okay, so once they're in the oil for a little bit, a couple seconds, you'll rotate them around. 
All right. Let me check on this temperature in here. Yes, we are at 350 degrees, so that's good. Let me put a few more in there. Then we're going to rotate them and get the other side nice and fried. Now you are going to want to make sure that you have some paper toweling available so that when you take them out, that that is there for it to soak up the rest of the oil. Okay. Okay. They're not quite ready yet. Okay. Now you do want them brown. As you can see, when I flipped it over, it wasn't quite brown yet. So I'm going to go ahead and make a few more while those are cooking. Now I didn't get out the ketchup and the mustard, but you'll probably want that ready um, in a little bowl or on a plate so that those eating those when they come out, they can just dunk it right into the ketchup or mustard if that's what you like. All right. It sticks pretty well when the when the hot dog is nice and dry. All right, let's try. If I flip it over, is it getting brown? Okay, so you can see it does take a minute or so. Ah, perfect one. Look at that one. All right. So you gotta make sure that your oil is at the right temperature. That's a very important piece of information. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these ones that I have cut. Then I'll start taking them out. You don't want them in there too long. So I think we're about ready to pull them out. Or at least those couple, first couple. Oop, there we go. Let's see if these are ready to come out. Looks like it. Oh, look how yummy. This one definitely is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. A slotted spoon would probably work better than what I have here today. <laughs> Okay, let me get a few more of these out. You'll notice it didn't quite cover the whole little piece of hot dog, but that's okay. It's still as yummy as can be. Oh, that one's another perfect one. Look at them as I'm starting to flip them over now. Not, not that one, that one. Okay, the cornmeal does spread out a little bit, but that's okay too. All right, let me get another couple of these out. I know corn dogs are a big favorite with the children. So you will be on somebody's happy list if you make these for them. All right. What do you think, folks? Little mini corn dogs. Sure doesn't take very much. Just mix up a batter, stick in your little slices of your hot dog and you have a fantastic meal for your family. I'm Miss Lisa and we've been here at the Fayette County Public Library today and this has been Fun Foods. Come see me again in two weeks for another awesome recipe. Bye now.